Hi guys, Chris Sandrum here from strengthphysio.com and in this video I'm going to go through a quick scanning assessment that you can do with new patients and clients so you can set them up for the best possible results and the fastest possible gains. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so in this video we're going to go through a really quick uh, assessment, scanning assessment of a new patient or a, a client that you could do where you're just looking for general uh, setup really so that when you do your programming or when you're looking at injuries you can kind of really quickly come to some conclusions about what might be going on and then what you can do about it. We're going to go through what you can do about things in a later video. Today's just going to be the, the going through that scanning assessment. Well, Emily kindly has agreed to uh, be my model for this one. So, usually what I say, I mean, if you turn around for me, is we'll start from the, the head, and what we're gonna do is just really quick scanning assessment for the neck. So, and if you just take your chin to your chest, and then looking back up towards the ceiling, and then back to the middle, and then looking over the left shoulder as far as you can go, and then looking over the right shoulder as far as you can go. Cool. And again, what I'm looking for there is how far she goes, does she go with, with no discomfort at all? Obviously if this was a, pain, a patient with pain in the neck, you might want to be looking for those sorts of things. Does she go as far to the left as she does to the right? And then I'm just comparing. If she doesn't, then you can always write that down as an objective marker, so three quarters to the right, etc. And you're just making a note of, of that. Um, then we're going to go through shoulders, so I'm going to get you to just bring your right hand over the top of your shoulder and left hand up behind your back and trying to touch the hands together. And then we'd look at that, how much distance is there between one hand and the other. And then if you swap sides and do the other side. And then same thing on this side. So usually, if you're right-handed, there's gonna be some uh, stiffness on that right side, which I'm assuming then you're right handed. Yeah. Um, so again, we're just checking in the background, just checking to see, and we're really looking for a big discrepancy. Um, and especially if someone's got shoulder issues, then you might be looking and saying, is that a, a major factor? And you're just looking to see right versus left, does it look different, does it look the same? Then we're going to go through quick thoracic motion. So if you bring your arms across your chest and the opposite shoulders, and then we're just going to turn to the left as far as you can go. Cool. And then back to the middle and turn to the right as far as you can go. And then back to the middle. And again, you're looking at how far is, uh, just, do they turn to the left and then how far do they turn to the right. Then we're going to look at a forward multi-segmental flexion, so just fingertips towards the floor as far as you can go, so just bending forwards. So, lean yeah. forward. And then back up here, and then hands above your head, and then arching backwards as far as you can go. That's good. And back up here, and then back. So again, we're just looking for how well they move really with these things. Fingertips towards the floor, how far do their fingertips go down towards the floor? And when they extend, how far do they extend backwards with the hands? Is there any discomfort doing that? Also, how far the hips come forward? So if your hip bones come forward past your toes, you know there's some pretty good uh, hip extension there. A lot of people tend to be tight in their hips and what they'll do is they'll arch their back, but they won't necessarily use their hips too much. So you can look at that sort of thing as well. Um, and then if we just go into a single leg balance, so just balancing on one leg, so we can just have a little look at single leg balance, 10 seconds or so, and then change sides. For the purposes of the video, we'll just do a few seconds, but perfect. And just looking really for balance with that. So that's our initial really quick scan of the body. Um, as I say, in other videos, I'm gonna go through what you would do if you find um, problems with that. Um, and the next section we're gonna go through is just more of a really quick functional assessment for a few different movements that would lead on from that assessment. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate your time and hopefully you got a lot of valuable content out of the video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe by clicking up here. This will mean that you don't miss out on any of the Strength Physio uh, videos. Also, check out my next video down here and I will hopefully see you on the next video.